Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on February 19th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms. No other major solar flares were directed our way or CMEs, but we do have a couple more things to mention here. Watching in the last frame, bottom right-hand corner there, uh, plasma filament eruption created a CME outgoing fashion. Look in the last 48 hours incoming, we did have that X-class solar flare, which produced a super halo CME, and space weather is expected soon. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, watching the plasma filament on the right-hand side here, Definitely getting into some activity and then lifting and swirling away. Looking at multi spectrum here. This is just some amazing imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Pretty intense plasma filament in the northern hemisphere right now. Just waiting for another plasma filament to erupt in the northern hemisphere as it is interacting right now with that incoming sunspot. 171 angstroms here, and this is where we can see the dark and blackened regions, which are coronal holes. We do have a couple that are earth facing right now, one turning away, one in the Southern hemisphere, earth facing view. But look at that ripple effect, bottom left hand side. We did have a large CME rip away from the backside of the sun. You'll be able to see that in Alaska coming up. Solar X-ray flux remains in a heightened C range after seeing two C-class solar flares in the last couple hours. Geomagnetic activity sitting at a KP2. Real-time solar wind sitting at 320 kilometers per second after being up around 450. But definitely coming down ahead of this incoming space weather event from the X-class solar flare. Quick look here at our magnetosphere. This is our solar winds interacting and swirling around our planet. This is our cut planes for the solar winds and then cut planes for pressure. I wanted to show you this as it is pretty slow right now, sitting about 300 kilometers per second. Things are really going to pick up here over the next 24 hours. So we'll be sharing those views when they come in. Looking at the NOAA space prediction spiral, showing that large halo CME taking off from the X-class solar flare. So it's coming into the 19th and into the 20th. This is where we will see the increased space weather. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing the most recent CME taking off from the backside of the sun towards Parker Solar Probe and Pepe and a little bit of Venus. Looking at Lasco 3, this is the last three days of events on our sun. Noticing here all of the activity from that large solar flare producing the coronal mass ejection. And then the plasma filament I showed you in the last few frames of our sun. You can see the activity leaving here southeast region of this satellite view right there. Looking at Schumann resonance for today as it is a low power of seven still. Watching for effects to change here. Looking at tele telemetry, quality of 10, amplitude of two. Now let's get to earthquakes. The last 24 hours we're sitting at about 200 according to USGS. And we're going to start out here with middle of the Indian Ocean, pretty much right underneath Cyclone Freddy, 5.3 and a 4.9 and a 4.7, rocking the Indian Plate and Somali Plate. 4.6 here, Sake, Democratic Republic of Congo, as well Turkey, seeing a 4.6 aftershock there. Only four today compared to the five or six that they've been having recently each day. Hindu Kush, Seeing a 4.2 there, India. 
as well indonesia here with leket 5.0 and philippines 4.9 4.4 there papua new guinea and then way too quiet here tonga region we've had no deep earthquakes through the region northern japan region hokkaido 5.0 as well a 4.6 kural islands 130 kilometer depth and a 4.8 just off the coast of Kam kamchatka Alaska seeing some activity as well through the Aleutian Islands, 3.8 and a 3.0. But more northward, see a Nikolskoy, Denali National Park, Alaska, 135 kilometer depth. A lot of increased activity here in Alaska recently and as well up into the, the Cascades. Minor activity is increasing. Band in Oregon with, with a couple 3.2s. North American plate, pretty quiet. Hermley, Texas, 2.9. 4.8 here in Nicaragua. Minor activity through Puerto Rico. South America. Iquique, Chile, saw a 5.3 magnitude. And Peru with a 4.5, 142-kilometer depth. 5.0 here, South Sandwich Islands. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Deepest earthquake in the last 24 hours was Hindu Kush. Have a quick browse here at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world, having a look at the Ring of Fire. A lot of elevated rings right now. So lots of deep movements across the Pacific West and West Ring of Fire. And of course, African Plate up into the Arabian Plate. And increasing activity South America mid-Atlantic Ridge down into South Sandwich Islands heads up North American plate it's been way too quiet recently now let's get to weather here brought to you by Ventu Sky an app that you can get and see forecasts here low pressure system over Quebec low pressure system over BC right now and as well a low in the Canadian prairies over Saskatchewan Watch for upsloping snows through Alberta. Warm temperatures here in Ontario tomorrow. And then watch for a big mess of a system here coming up Wednesday into Thursday. As we've got a big snowstorm developing here. See all those trough lines? We've got about three or four low pressure systems that are going to be ravaging the united states watch for an extreme weather event through the gulf states and up into northeastern united states canada is going to mostly see snow and a mixed precipitation event but stay tuned because this forecast could change having a look here at the temperatures for the next few days polar vortex has swung around now as forecasted here with daily events worldwide could see temperatures in the minus double digits, minus 20s through parts of the central mid uh, United States. Overlooking South America, no major weather events to talk about. Daily evaporation rains, but still pretty heavy through parts of Colombia and northern Brazil. And that has been very heavy as of late. So watch for flood alerts to start coming in through northern Brazil. Looking at South Africa, Madagascar, and Cyclone Freddy here. As it looks like it's going to graze the two small islands here off the coast of Madagascar, Mauritius. Looks like it's going to make landfall tomorrow night. And then reunion overnight Monday. And then the long forecast here shows it tracking still straight across Madagascar and into the east coast. Of South Africa. Very strong cyclone. And as I said, there were a couple of earthquakes right underneath the zone. And it is still a Category 3 cyclone. And it looks like it may even ramp up just before it goes into the east coast of South Africa. So stay tuned. We'll be giving a full forecast on that. Overlooking Europe. 
things are pretty dry right now, but watch for things to change here by Tuesday into Wednesday through parts of the UK as moisture starts to fuel in. High pressure ridge will be dipping southwards towards Africa. And then in come the storms through Mediterranean and all around. But nothing major to be concerned about. No extreme weather event there, but you could see some pretty thunderous conditions through Italy. Overlooking West Pacific, Southeast Asia. Still have Invest Area 99W. It looks like it's going to just miss Japan. But no typhoons developing there. Overlooking Australia and New Zealand. New Zealand's going to see some rain here the next couple days. And then Northern Territory of Australia and Northwest Australia. You've got an intense low here, which could develop into a cyclone. Definitely is an area of interest right now. But that looks to be about three or four, maybe even five days straight of coastal rains as that low comes in. So this is an extreme weather event for northern Australia. Heads up. And then you've got a pretty intense low pressure system scooting towards the southeast region in the long range forecast here. Heavy trough line will bring some moisture. Leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean and as well moisture just now leaving Hawaii. Dry things out for a little bit. But still some strong systems here through the Pacific. Trying to ride the equatorial plane wherever it may be. Much love everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please smack that like button. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.